So Gorilla on his home console with a three away goal advantage. If it stays this scoreline, that means Gorilla will, of course, take victory. $200,000 and, of course, the trip to that FIFA Pro Awards, which will be happening later in the year. Dito, he needs to score. The pressure is off him, effectively. He's had his home console. Now it's still time to play the way he can with that slow build-up. The Legends back in play, of course, on the Xbox as well. Didn't actually catch a glimpse of whether he's stuck with the same team. No, he's brought Hollett in. OK, so he's changed Nangola, I believe. In for Hollett, I believe. That's, of course, Legends available on the Xbox. Gorilla, standard team for him. This is the difference. He's, he's on home soil now. A little controller change for Dito. This is, this is the big part, right? Now, so you used to play with a PlayStation controller. A little bit small, a little bit... Uh, I don't know. It depends on how you are, how big your hands are. That's a, that's a big part of it, of course. Uh, now, we're just trying to change the buttons around. Just switching the uh, pass button, I believe, there, Dito. Yeah, I mean, in the end, it's about feeling as comfortable as you can, trying yeah. to get the setup as close to, you know, one for one as you can on as your home console. We'll see, though. I mean, the thing is, Dito can't rely on a draw unless it's obviously a 3-3 yeah. draw or even better for him than a 4-4 draw. But if you can win this outright, then he saves himself all that pain. For now, though, Gorilla on his home console, three goals scored away. Can he break the score in here early on? On the edge of the box, Hundan gone in towards Hullet, who pulls it back, but the opposite Hullet got in there before him. And now a chance for Dito to have his first go of the game. Lacazette cuts it back. Lacazette's making the run as well. Looking at Valencia, he's going to go for that overhead through ball, and it will reach Lacazette. He can square it into the box, but the first touch let him down. Just about keeps it in play, but he was muscled off it with ease in the end as the two defenders close him down. It's Gorilla in the red once again, in possession. Playing a little bit more slowly, I would say, than he has done. Not looking for that more direct play. As I say, then he puts a big through ball in. It's fell kindly. Marcelo gets it back to Ronaldo, looking towards the middle of the box. He wants to go for the cutback. He tries to stop. He's get control still, just about holds on to it. Then Golan can't turn quick enough. And it's Dieter that clears the danger. Yeah. Almost shooting chance there for Gorilla. Well defended though from Dito. Keep the pressure on. That could have been a little dangerous for him. So one man running trying to get on the end of it, but Dito continues to spread the ball well as we're so used to from him. He's back onto that top side with Marcelo and directly back into the middle. Just trying to keep a hold of it. I think just calm his nerves somewhat at this stage as well. We saw almost instantly the, oh, the realisation that his controller was different when they started and paused to change that one off. And I think this might be a case, two, three minutes of, of real time, not in-game time, to just relax and set the scene, if you like. Exactly, get comfortable on the ball, as it were, in real terms of football. Kante does manage to keep control for Dito, but he's lost it fairly easily back on that wing. Ferdinand with a long ball over the top, a chaser. Valencia just cuts it out though, and Dito keeps it calm. Remember that big defensive error, it's Nangolan that's chasing them down there as well. It was David Luiz that lost possession for Dito, for the opener, and that's a direct pass. A little lucky to reach Lacazette, Ronaldo will play it back as Dito starting to feel more comfortable and starting to play his possession game that he was used to. He didn't get a chance to settle in, I feel, on the PlayStation, but now on the Xbox, it looks like he's starting to feel a little comfortable. That's going to run out of play in the end, though. And that's, I'm sort of think, so a little worrisome for Gorilla. Yeah, and that's the, that's the great thing for Dito, though. I mean, he knows that all he needs is to win 1-0 here, and this is done. This, is, this will be, uh, you know, all pain saved, if you like. He'll be 200,000 richer. And could go on the champion of 2017, but Gorilla's not a man to give up that easy advantage given there, which I think would be uh, preferential for Dito. He holds on to possession. Lacazette will have to beat basically two men to get this one across. In the end, it takes a second swipe, and he wins the corner. Is he going to go for the in-swinger? He is. He's looking to get there. Once the inside post, but it's just gone wide, and it's a goal kick for Gorilla. 31 minutes gone. 
D2, and a couple of chances there. I think I'd have took that free kick, honestly. It was an advantage given, but it was in a really good spot. This is a good run, though. That's a great ball over the top for Ronaldo. Get the parry, it's got to be! And Guerrero scores! On the Xbox, making it 4-3. And that puts him right in the driving seat. Yeah, keeper not able to keep a hold of it. And while well, Suarez was in just perfect position there, great position that he has anyway. That is just a nice little tapping for him. It was that big ball over the top again that started things out. And now all the work is there for Dito. He needs to score two to win this outright. Two goals. One is not enough. And that's instantly made it a tough challenge. We were talking about all he needed was a 1-0. It suddenly we got a lot harder. Ronaldo took an injury there for Gorilla. We'll have to shake that one off. Won't get substituted, it seems. Suarez to hull it through the middle. Ronaldo for Dito. Can he get the instant reply that he got in the PlayStation? Almost got really lucky with that rebound. Still not cleared exactly as Dembele tries to shrug off Hull it down the wing. Hull it with the through ball for the red of Gorilla. Another goal here would be so impactful. Neymar, though, unable to keep control. And Dito goes back on the attack. This could be a killer ball, though it will run on through. Can he beat the man? Will he shoot? He does shoot. Oh, he's in the post. Lewis got there as well, just before him. Oh, that could be oh, heartbreak. That word. could be a decider in this game. So close there for Dito. We've seen them rebound straight back in the path of the striker, but this time it goes wide, and Dito just dragged it a little too far and it's purely down to the controller Suarez looking for the through ball gets it to Kante shrugs it off and maybe could have turned himself but he didn't want to take the shot on we can take hardly that scoop turn quite as well as your Suarez and Ronaldo so that's a great ball through for Gorilla Suarez looking in the box Ronaldo arriving but he's passed it on a little too hard oh Courtois a little cut back of the pass would love to see Conte's face if he did that in real life. <laughs> I mean, that's, um, in all fairness, incredibly ballsy stuff. 200,000 on the line, and that's not something that most players would even bother risking. Just showing maybe the experience once again of Dito, knowing that his opponent wouldn't just oh, expect that. There's, Holly, there's Ronaldo, oh, Courtois comes out. He's managed to get it away. We're on the stroke of half-time, and he comes in again, and it's Holly that comes in from <laughs> Celebrates the goal that eventually comes. Honestly, I thought he could have taken the shot before in the first chance he had. He didn't use Hullet though, but the tap in for Hullet there. It wasn't the trademark dreadlock header. It was just a simple tap in on the stroke of half time. They all count. And as he makes it 2 0 and 5 3 on aggregate. And Dito now needs three goals in the second half to get himself back in this game. What a thriller to finish in the first half. Yeah, this right now is Gorilla's game to lose. Everything is in his hands right now. Yeah, and I believe that actually all started off with, uh, you know, again, not getting the ball out of the defense quick enough. Um, and that is, I think, happening far too often uh, for Dito at this point. Maybe something he needs to work on for the future, of course, but it all comes down to this last second half. He's 5-3 behind. And he needs to score those, uh, well, three goals here. He yep. can't lose this one. I mean, it's safe to say it doesn't matter if he lets one more in because he still needs to score three. Exactly. And that would tie things up, of course, 3-3 three, three on the first half. But we might be seeing that third goal here. Well, it goes down. Bit of a rash tackle. It looks like he's picked up an injury there, but the counter still on. Ronaldo lays it across, and Marcelo just gets a foot to it to lay it back to Courtois. Chance now. For Dito, he's going to have to start building these attacks up a little bit quicker because he's got time against him. Really nice crossfield ball there, though. Powerbin looking towards the middle. There's Hullet coming in, lays it across to Kante. He's got options in the middle, but he can't get past the defenders. That's straight through. It has to be. What? Oh, fresh air shot and down on the ground. Dito is going to be kicking himself. Yeah, ball went through. I think he just pulled him back a little bit awkwardly there. You saw the, the frustration on Dito's face with that. And now maybe Gorilla is going to put even more pain on top of him as he fleds it in. It's Neymar and he is in. Gorilla taking a 3 0 lead. And that is just misery for, D, uh, for Dito. 6 3 behind. 
He needs to now score oh, three goals before full time to push us into extra time. Big celebration from Spencer's coach in the corner, Sean Allen. The FIFA Interactive World Cup runner-up in 2016. He's been supporting Gorilla throughout this tournament. I mean, his biggest fan club member in the corner as well, yelling every time he gets a goal. Gorilla tries to keep it calm, but he knows he has a three-goal lead. And that is a massive, massive thing to go with just 35 minutes played. We saw some dramatic comebacks last year in New York. Are we going to see more here from Dito? Well, if Gorilla loses possession like that, Dito is a player that may just punish him. Good tackle, though. That will be cleared back upfield. So, 60 minutes gone. Three goals needed to push us further. The ball is looped over the top by Gorilla. Can he beat his man? He won't need to. Advantage was called and then uh, brought back again. So, this is a dangerous position now. And Gorilla is going to throw that on straight in towards the penalty spot. It was Hollett that was there. Didn't quite get ahead on it, though. No, couldn't quite. Flick it in, Ferdinand beaten off the ball by Lacazette, somewhat unfairly, another free kick chance. And this is all playing in favour of Gorilla, isn't it? The clock runs down as these free kicks keep coming, 63 minutes gone. Dito needs one of those goals early on, but that's a header. Chance going missing. Now, counter chance actually with so many players forward, the big defenders would be in there, but that is how you stop the counter. He's going to take a card, no, excuse me, just a telling off from the referee, very lenient. As Ronaldo gets sliced down by Neymar. Goal has to come quickly for Dito. He's going to go a little bit more direct with that one. Bad control though, and in the end this will be uh, called back. Not sure exactly what happened there in the end. It's going to be a foul just off our screens. Dito, oh, oh, that's another mistake from him. It's actually a two-on-one. This is a position where you fancy yeah. Gorilla to score. In, oh, and almost another it. one. That was pretty insane stuff. And Dito feels like, you know, the pressure is just getting to him now. It's a great through ball. Messi to Nangolan. Slips it through. Nangolan back to Hollett. It's going to show the runner. Dembele deflected for Ronaldo. It's four. Just be done, 7-3 on aggregate. A massive, massive lead for Gorilla here in the grand finals of the second leg. An aggregate scoreline, Dito, he needs four goals to come back. It would be a winner if he got four, but it would also be absolute mayhem here, I believe, in the final 20 minutes. And that's exactly what he's got. Look at the shots there. Seven for Gorilla, only the single one for Dito, and he's not put one away just yet. This one will loop over. Was he offside? Oh. He was offside there. It was close, but will be called back. And time is ticking. Gorilla can almost smell the cash. <laughs> $200,000 to the winner here. 40000 for second prize. Not a bad day's work, that's for sure, or three days' work, as the case may be. And, of course, the trophy... The trip to the FIFA Awards as well later on in the year where you will be rubbing shoulders with perhaps the likes of Morata who is here in attendance alongside Neymar, Ronaldo, Messi. They'll all be there and one of these players will as well. Valencia for Dito, wins it back, gets it across to Suarez. Kante, he needs a goal and he needs it now. He's running desperately out of time as 15 minutes remain on the clock for him. On to Valencia. He's going to send Lacazette running. Come back with it though. And he get it away. Finally does Valencia. Knocks it up towards Suarez. Will turn back inside. Ball is good to Lacazette. He's going to have a shot. And De Gea will be tested there. Wasn't knocked out for a corner. And in fact, I think Gorilla's even going to get the throw in from that one. Well, we have a clear and defined winner so far. Are we going to see any drama? Dito has to make the changes, and is it a little too late? That's the question. It's Son Young Min coming in for Thalvin on the left there. Maybe he's going to switch in with Suarez. You can see Suarez playing in centre midfield at the moment. Nangolan will come on as well. Couple of changes. Is it enough? Time is really against him. 10 minutes plus extra time. You're looking at maybe 13, 14 minutes max to get four goals. Difficult 
Is it impossible? I don't think so just yet, but it's going to be one of the most incredible comebacks. If you know, that last game that we were talking about, comebacks, was anything to go by, this is certainly up there with them as well. Four goals going to be needed here for Dito. He would win it outright then on away goals. But the task is absolutely mammoth. And first of all, he's got to get the ball off Gorilla. And he's not going to give that one up easily. There's a looping ball over the top. Will be collected by Son. Will even try and push forward with this one. Actually, does get dispossessed. And hands were up from the defender, claiming no foul. Ball kept in there as well. Martial into Kante. He's going to send one man running, but right into the feet of Ferdinand. 85 minutes now gone. Gorilla one step closer. You've got to hand it to Gorilla. Despite the possession game that Tito tries to play, he has absolutely took every single chance he's had. Has been so impactful every time he goes forward. Dito on the attack. Son cuts it back. Looking for one here. Maybe to get things started. Oh, it comes off David Luiz. And when the luck is not with you, that's how it goes. A corner whipped in. Any header? No. It's a goal kick, I believe. And it is Gorilla now with just a couple of minutes remaining. Holding 7-3 on aggregate. 4-0 here on the Xbox. A mammoth, mammoth goal tally to be here in the grand final. Marcelo going to loop this one up. And, well, he can't quite get on the end of it. Three minutes to be added on in-game. That's no time whatsoever to score himself four goals. This one is done, but can at least Dito pick one at the end? Well, it's just a little shot. That's all he's going to get. He can't recycle it too many times. I think it's simply a case of pride, and it will bobble over once again. Another corner, and the time is very much over. We have ourselves an almost certain winner in huge gorilla. England are victorious in London. Spencer Eden, a.k.a. Gorilla, is the 2017 FIFA Interactive World Champion. And Dito, you know, he's played absolutely amazingly throughout this tournament, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your FIFA Interactive World Cup champion.